Welcome up, Natalie. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks. I'm great to be here. It's an introductory day and a half. I, I really enjoyed the conversations with many of you. It's a very challenging time slot uh, <laughs> now, so I'll be very sensitive about the tiredness and, uh, um, and, and, and the uh, time frame that is left. What I've done, actually, I've teached completely with the presentation that uh, I've prepared before. Um, this is the result of what I think might benefit to be a building European Bauhaus, basically, and the Academy and the other things. From my experiences uh, with uh, the related projects and greening, um, as Bauer mentioned in the first day, the energy uh, vector into it, and it's digital energy vector into it. So this is what you see, it's a bit of a pop for it uh, from, um, from all the areas that I mentioned. Um, so the projects that I would like to bring up for your attention and for future discussions um, is the uh, uh, BD for energy, so it's the big data in energy. And why? Not because it is the energy one, but because there are models in there and related to one of the Andreas <laughs> presentation that might create a synergy. Smart building for EU, it's not my project, it is a CSA, I'm on the advisory board on, on, of, of it, and I cherry-picked from one of the reports some of the uh, points that directly feed into um, some of the topics that we discussed at the beginning of the day. Uh, Smarter School, it's, um, it's, it's a spin-off uh, from one of our semantic interoperability of platform in energy and buildings uh, project um, for lessons learned, so to say, and the Roskvit, that is the Rebuilt Ukraine platform uh, that I'm contributing to. And there, there is a call for um, action to go beyond the capacity building and potentially also to consider um, additional projects within the areas of energy and the sustainable uh, build. Um, we have limited resources in Europe, and the name of the game is to synergize. And this is how we do it uh, from one of my European heads uh, chairing the Working Group of Energy in AATI. When we put strategic research agendas in the CGIA and other European partnerships, this is the, the goal that we put together. Um, and the, the main point here is uh, collaborate across modalities, uh, and the value chain and to deliver not only research results but also socioeconomic results and address the new challenges that are brought into the convergence, so that's another key word, of technologies, 5G, Internet of Things, industrial Internet of Things, and edge computing and the AI. So some of them were already brought in, but this is something that I would like to mention. It's a bit fuzzy, but uh, should be good. Um, why this slide is here? and why this project is mentioned. This is the result of the, uh, uh, not specific just this slide, but <laughs> the project result of the 300 uh, experts in uh, ETIPSnet, European Strategic Energy Technology Plan, and this is our attempt to depict the complexity of the energy sector. And on the, um, on the network side, you, you see it's for the first time that the data and the connectivity um, and the uh, other vectors of energy were brought in. Um, this is five years ago. This is a kind of a, um, crook father or mother of the Green Deal. So that's uh, depicting this, uh, the complexity, depicting all of these vectors um, allowed for really, you know, scoping and communicating to the public or, and other stakeholders. So, good example um, how to potentially, and we had discussion with Jan, um, how, how to you know, zoom in on, on some of the components and uh, bring the complexity in. Um, of course, the focus also in the energy on the consumer, but here you can see how you can, within this forest of the interfaces and the networks, by the way, we missed, um, oh, you can only go forward, not backward. Yeah, type of okay. oh. um, Yes, as you can see with these humans, we depicted dolphins but <laughs> from the first <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so not everything goes well from the and I purposefully put the first version. <laughs> yeah. But we get that. So it, it, it takes you know some uh, like that some some words. So um, uh, customer or consumer is fully engaged. Yes, and um, there are many more slides on this. So I don't think I put them uh, in, in in here. But the interfaces are also complex. Um, so some some inspiration um, from this project. Context. There was a question: What should um, 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 participants in in, in the uh, new European Bauhaus know? What what the architects should know? Um, this complex slide, but I think it might be very useful. Context, and the context is even more complex than you know the the the, the issue on the table. So this is the context of the energy and digital which touches upon at least four areas. Uh, new industrial strategy related to, to, to all the topics. Uh, the data strategy, I think many of you are familiar with. Meant generation um, IoT, which deals with the edge computing and AI, but not only. And the CHIPS Act, which is actually how all of this can happen, right? So because we can build wonderful models, digital twins, but if we don't have the uh, right inside of the slide, none of this uh, works. So this is a inspiration for the context, and of course, you know, the, the wider EU policy complex related to the um, Green Feet of 55, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so innovation areas, so first of all, there are so many European partnerships, uh, there are associations, there are CSAs, um, there are other organizations, they're all working towards you know, the goals that we have. And these are just five uh, context areas related to the buildings and to the sustainable build uh, that, that are interfaces and directly um, related to. Again, this is the inspiration for the question what they should know. <laughs> they should know that all of this matters and but how to bring it at the beginning of the project and how to put all the stakeholders together uh that's that's the challenge so that's maybe inspiration for Yavin and the team um for this won't go into the details but as you can see it's the cross-cutting because all of this intelligence comes from somewhere and now we even adding agriculture and the uh smart build environments for the uh, um uh, healthy aging, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is uh, just the level of the complexity. Um, again, uh, inspiration for the uh, energy communities. The topic came up a number of times. A lot of projects are thinking or building. Um, a lot of work was done on the uh, within the DG Energy and the DG Connect uh, calls related to the topics. It is within the past three years we managed to bring those together and not be in silos. I think there is not in uh, so he knows what it means. And now this year we also brought in the the, uh, the mobility and, and so this is also complex context. A reach out, um, you know, these are still three outstanding questions uh, that, that, that we have and complexities that are not solved. So it doesn't mean that there were lots of projects that, that it's uh, um, all ready to go. Um, so just very quickly, BT High Energy Project, um, I mentioned what, what is interesting is this toolbox. So the big data analytics toolbox. And uh, so what it does, it's basically is uh, is federated way of training AI models. So once you get the data, once it's interoperable, and once you have access to that, uh, generate it within the project, um, don't feel alone because there are ways and the marketplaces and the uh, toolboxes how you can uh, leverage the knowledge of others. That's all I'm gonna say. It's much more complex uh, than this. Um, and this is uh, this is an, appro an approach. So cross context transfer, right? So the multi stakeholders learning our algorithms for residential flexibility. That's why I use this use case specifically in this context. Um, so for the residential flexibility, asset 
profiling but in view to reduce the time necessary for model training. So in this, <laughs> you're not alone um, also. So this is, this is the, uh, the, the, the view of one of um, our first projects. So the, what, what you see um, is a shared um, renewable energy platform. It's first in your shared renewable infrastructure approach and a lot of technical innovation. But what matters is, is how it's communicated to, 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 to the stakeholders and what's the ripple effect. And the ripple effect is all of those projects because once the innovation trickles in, it, 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 it continues um, having the ripple effect. And, and it's, it's very important, I think, for the um, uh, neo purity not part as well. Um, so energy communities, I think I mentioned enough, reached out about and uh, will be happy to talk. Uh, we were focusing on the public sector. This is a public sector cluster. It's a public school. It's the retirement home. So 30 years, seven years, 20 years, don't remember, uh, facilities. So heterogeneous <laughs> environment, different uh, energy station, different system in the build. Um, and, and the project triggered basically either renovation, uh, renovations, adaptations, or um, um, other projects. Um, so, and of course, the, 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 uh, the residential um, uh, sector in the Embraer. It's in a very rural area in Portugal, on the border with Spain, so uh, we have no problems with the stakeholders. <laughs> so don't be afraid to go outside of the smart city um, in here. I will skip it, uh, skip this part over very quickly. So this is a spin-off uh, of one one of the projects that dealt with semantic interoperability. When we went to the stakeholders at the uh, municipal level and started talking about the project, they didn't want to do anything with that because it's complex, it's technology driven, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we had to come up with the use cases that uh, stories that they can relate to. So we. Um, and, and because it is building, right, so it's building within the cluster, we thought the, the, the school would be a very um, relatable uh, area, and also we um, had the solution that, that, that could work there. So uh, the result of this, remember, it is semantic interoperability platform. It solves very difficult uh, issue related to uh, to what also Andreas mentioned, um, but we came up with the solution that basically uh, allowed municipality, uh, because you, you, you know in Europe a lot of uh, regions are um, undergoing the renovation program programs for the schools, basically, and uh, and deciding how to renovate, where to renovate, what what uh, what to do. And what we propose is actually is the toolkit that goes for the three to six months to start with to assess as a situation versus approaching and from just, you know, surveying the, the, the facility. Yes, we use um, um, energy reports. Yes, we use other additional data. But this is an um, independent pack that can go in and, and do the monitoring and then, of course, live on. But when it lives on, it, it has a different function. So it is IoT technology German solution that has many phases. You can think of the bird growing up <laughs> and flying some Kirby uh, from it. One going to the details that it brings basically interior environmental quality. And I think Marcus knows exactly what it is because if you've uh, I've been watching the sensors, there are three. One over there, one in the room and one over here. And when I was in that room, the, uh, the PPM sparked was a minute of the CO2 um, started beeping. And <laughs> so the way they managed to know how to cover it up. So it's, it's way up. Um, and so basically in our schools, um, and we have installations in two municipalities now uh, as a demo project. So we do not have optimal learning environments. And that, that is the user story that, uh, that was created. So it is IQ, it is the renovation, um, and it is climate change uh, adaptation uh, education program. Um, so, Rosk, very quickly, uh, revealed to Ukraine. I'm supporting the platform from the very beginning, which is March uh, of last year. 
in May, a chief of uh, you know, created vision, um, mission, and uh, the focus areas specifically for the um, energy. Um, so there is a lot, lots of lots of projects already ongoing there, but we are looking for further collaborations with the energy and within the sustainable uh, built um, with the uh, New European Bauhaus. There is already ongoing collaboration for the capacity building. So there are many layers, and these layers also correspond to the layers of the um, urban design and, and, and the other programs. Um, have a look at the website and uh, during um, Smart Building for You won't go into this. I think it's very much directed to the designers of the, uh, of the New European Bauhaus. Please have a look because this is this is uh, final deliverable um, of the project. Um, so it depicts uh, the value chains, the regulation, the social, economic, and technical impacts, and the very open. <laughs> oh no! Wow! Okay. You were taking picture, right? Um, uh, so there is lots of insights out there. This is just the gist of it. I think many of them are relevant so that you don't start from scratch and take this as, as, the, as the initial um, input. Uh, and these are the recommendations. Okay? So starting from the recommendations and bringing it to the next level might be of uh, use. Thank you so much. Thank you.